Lucas Media. So I want to talk about this. I know I made a couple of videos about Julio, but uh, Young and Age dropped a diss song right after Julio passed away. We all know he was deleted last week right after his birthday party in uh, Tampa, Florida. But Julio Julio has been or his Instagram or whatever so Instagram has been putting out things of the Undertaker talking about him rise again and comment on other people's videos and you know some people are speculating did he fake his did he fake his death was that not really him to where somebody posted a picture where it appeared to be him slumped down trying to get to the back seat of the car just to prove that he gone now like I said before man Julio gone man and we 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 don't want to believe that these people were really even human but man you get shot up like that in your car you're not making it out of that and you could tell they was aiming from they got it on video dude crept up <laughs> they got automatic weapons and stuff now i remember saying this in my last video you did all that dissing you go into people's graves singing songs and you got pictures of, of, of young black men gone de gone deceased and then when you pass away, like I said, all them cheers and chants. Look, now somebody didn't hack to hack to your Instagram and comment and basically clowning your death. You're not honoring somebody's death by that. And is that is it really worth it? Honestly, is this the life that people want? You know, a wasted a wasted life, in my opinion, honestly, because what music do you really know of his that's not dissing the dead? I really want somebody to tell me. Because what's going to happen is, in five years from now, ten years from now, when the same people who liked him are adult adults with children, they're going to move on. It's going to be a new wave of music. And again, what is he going to be known for? All these rappers, these drill want to be rappers. They're going to be known for being clowns for the most part. You 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 you're dissing other other black men majority of the time you brought out all this evil something that happened to you or your family and what do you get out of it because those youtube clicks are going to stop and yeah whoever's posting from his his instagram yeah they they tripping but again this is what happens in today's society that's all my man it ain't this stuff ain't even worth it we need to bring r and b back and we just gotta start making songs for the ladies because what was all of that? Was all of that worth it for you to be slumped in the back seat? Trying to escape for your life. Your life flashing before your eyes because you didn't see somebody creep up on you. And your last few moments as you trying to get in the back seat. You can't tell me he wasn't thinking, damn, man, somebody didn't. They didn't got me. And I don't know if he have any children or anything. But like I said, his mama got to grieve. Cousins got to grieve. Uncle's going to have to grieve. Auntie's going to have to grieve. For what? When you could have just made songs for the ladies or made conscious music. And one, this is another thing I'm thinking about. Why haven't we seen more people want to be like the Coles, the Kendricks, and the Drakes? While Drake and Kendricks going at it, think about it. All their music is, they make good music to where they can go do stadium shows. J. Cole, all these people. You don't see them. You don't see nobody running after them. You don't see them having to duck behind. You don't see them dissing the dead. And they're the biggest artists. So why wouldn't people want to be more like them? But that's the problem with the black men. You know, we we don't we think stuff like that is, is lame and corny. We want instant gratification versus you build a catalog. Even look at Hove. Hove worth a, a billion dollars or multi billions. And ain't nobody followed his blueprint yet. From the younger generation, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, Hove try to, you know, he tried to get people game. Well, man, I don't want to hear that, man. I ain't trying to hear that. I don't want to invest in art. I want to go be on the block with my homies shooting dice. You know, and I got family members like that too. Family member friends who then died over over stuff like this. See, I'm trying not to curse because y'all know how YouTube is. But you know, I didn't see plenty of people where they don't they don't want to leave it alone. You don't want to grow. You know, some of these, some of these people, some of y'all friends and family members probably, or former friends, 18, they still act like they're 18 years old. They ain't me at 30. You still going to jail talking about free, free him, free him. No, no, you need to sit in jail. <laughs> you going to jail in your mid thirties at this point, it's on, it's up, it's on you, man. 
but this is the life that we glorify but what comes at the end of it nothing and the only thing people know now from uh fulio is him being slumped in that back seat and somebody make making fun of him after he gone on, on his instagram talking about he gonna rise like the undertaker get out of here man ain't no ain't no this this ain't call of duty this ain't grand theft auto it ain't no reset button but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it man hey, i'm telling y'all man please talk to y'all nephews sons cousins man the, man the streets is undefeated but tell me what y'all think